the Buddha of suburbia there. That's David Bowie. In just a moment, live in the studio, it's Werewolves of London. GLR 2020 travel from Scotland Yard, leaving central... Our live music today comes from a London band who take their name from Warren Zevon's hit Werewolves of London. They've built up a steady following on the Capitals Blues and R&B circuit over the last few months. And this Saturday they play a President Records showcase gig at the Royal Standard in Walthamstow with label mates Ruthless Blues. Good to have you guys here. That's Tony Thank Farina, you. David Richardson and uh, Jim Darby. Now you've been together such a little time. Yeah, it's sort of like... Um it was kind of an accident, really, that we got back together because uh, Dave uh, and I played in uh, in a band a long, long time ago, and uh, we just sort of like uh, I was living in Canada, lived in, lived in Canada, your your native. Mm -hmm. I came back to this country, and um, I bumped into this guy, and he, you know, he offered to pick me up off the floor and <laughs> form a band. You know? What so, Toronto did that to you, did it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> But it's an interesting blend of music that you do. I mean, there's a whole variety of sounds. Do you, do you want to avoid being pigeonholed? Or you just have a great diversity of, of interests? Well, somebody said to me the other day about, like, you know, not having a, you know, do a, a label attached to you. And I said, well, it depends whether or not a label is EMI or not, you know. So <laughs> but uh, we, always, we all like various kinds of music, so we didn't want to sort of just be strictly a blues band or strictly a, a country band. We, so, so many sort of influences. I mean, even the title track from the album is, is Scar, sort of borrowed, yeah. borrowed whole from the David Lindley version, I should say, so thanks to Mr. Dave there. But, um... Yeah, if you want to put us in a bag, I mean, the best way is to put the CD in a bag in a record shop. That's right, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down your local Sainsbury's, available at popular prices. <laughs> well, perhaps the proof is in the pudding. Should we hear the music, work it out for ourselves? Okie dokie, thanks. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Bitten by the same dog twice of oh. London there with Same Dog Twice. I, I, I think you probably know I have a slight bias to the blues, which is why you decided of all the genre you decided on that one, yes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> probably, yeah, yeah. It probably it's doesn't, a, it doesn't hurt. There, you know, <laughs> Occasional <laughs> creeping and crawling it's never does any harm. Diana, please. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, please. shall we play the album right now? I'd love it. It'd be a good idea. Let's good. have uh, She Wants to Be an Engine. Werewolves of London from their album that she wants to be an engine. Now I recognize that that uh, uh, Tony and Dave, how you guys came together. But where did you come in, Jim? I mean, where did you know you jump in? At well, um, I was playing with a, a blues band in North London, and um, I was playing at a blues jam in Walthamstow, and I was able to showcase my playing under very favourable circumstances and. After I'd played, uh, these two dodgy characters came up, and <laughs> came up and asked me to join their band. And you said yes? Well, when I heard them, I <laughs> gave did, the bottle, yeah. gave them a bottle of scotch and he said, yeah, he'll, jo he'll join. So uh, you promised you wouldn't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't given me a bottle of scotch yet, have you? Uh, <laughs> it's not quite Christmas yet, no. don't worry. But you also are award-winning for your harmonica playing, is that not right? Yeah, um, about back in um, 1987, I was lucky enough to win the World Harmonica Championships. Uh, for the category of country music. The world harmonica. I yeah. mean, this is, this is big. This um, is very, very, you know, you're very modest for such a big sort of accolade. He is a modest guy. Yeah. Is he? You're very much That's so, why he yeah. doesn't give you the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he has to be with the rest of the members of the band. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, somebody's got to be modest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Try and balance the group all together. So where do, you, where do you guys see yourself going then? What are your future plans? Well, we just want to sort of, we just want to carry on playing and, uh, and make some more records and, uh, and, and do plenty of live playing. I think that's really where it's You're going to keep in London or you're going to be sort of... Sorry? <laughs> oh God, we're going back, aren't we? <laughs> where it's at, man. Well, we're yes. going to keep in London. We're, we're, um, we've got the album released um, in Holland now. It's a general release in Holland. You're going to do some touring over in Europe? Well, hopefully we're going to get some tours in Europe and uh, we'll follow on from there. And, Great. Um, with our record company, they're doing really good, great guns for us at the moment. We yeah, we're pretty sure. That Thank we're you, gonna David. Run. Yeah, yep. we're pretty sure we're going to do well in the future. Well, I wish you all the best. Let's have one more track from you. What are we going to have? Tight blue jeans. Tight blue jeans. Yeah. That's the one. That right? feels yeah. good. Yeah. How's it go, Diana? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 